All right, in this video, we're going to start off uh, making a keychain while learning some um, while learning some basics of how to do some three D printing. I'm just making sure I got everything set up here. Hang on, I'm fixing my audio. Okay. So we're in here, we're going to, uh, it takes a little bit sometimes for Inventor to load up. So if you're having some problems, don't be clicking all over, just let it get going. We're going to click on, once it's up, it might look slightly different than this. Hang on, got to turn the music down. People often love the music I got going on. This is some Do Make Say Think, by the way. Anyway, we're going to click Part. And it may look slightly different than this. This may be a different version I have at home. And uh, it's a little bit slow on the network at school also. So once you click Part, let it load. As you can see here, it's slowly loading up. And then we just want to make sure, uh, I, I think I missed something there while it was loading up. We want to make sure that the measurements that we're going to do are in millimeters. So I'm just going to double check. I'm going to start a 2D sketch up here. And here comes uh, our, our three planes. I want to see... I just want to make sure I'm in millimeters because sometimes it defaults to inches. I'm going to make a quick rectangle here just to see. Oh, I am in inches. Here we go. Okay, new. I'm going to pick this one with millimeters. Now I'm set. Okay, so that's how we do it. We go file, new. We want this one here, millimeters. Okay, I'm going to close some of these other ones that I have open over here. The first bunch were all in inches. No, I don't want to save that. Okay, now we're starting our 2D sketch. We're getting our three planes here. We're going to click on one of the planes. It doesn't really matter which one, but that'll kind of change the orientation of how we're drawing it. I'm going to go rectangle, and I want to pick this rectangle here where I'm starting with a point in the center and a point on the side. So I click my point, I drag out. I can enter in a value now, or I can click and enter in a value. So as you see when I change it here, the values for length and width change. But we're going to be able to edit these. Now we got we need to have our drawing for the size of the rectangle that we want. So the other day we did a drawing and we said that we want it to be 40 our our keychain uh, the length to be 40 millimeters. And the height or the width of it, uh, I guess the height of it to be 20. So let's set that here. We click on this dimension tool. We click on the side we want. We pull it up a little bit. And then we can change the dimension of that side by typing it in. Okay. 
So there we go. Now with the same tool, we're going to do the other side. We're almost there, but we're going to put it exactly at 20. And because this is a rectangle, the adjacent side there is also going to be 40, and, and the adjacent one from the 20 is going to be 20. So we're going to click finished right up here. And there we go. We've got a little square there in our three-dimensional space. It's flat right now, but we're going to use this extrude tool to give it some depth. There we go. Now, referring back to our drawing of it, uh, we can extrude it forward or backward. Doesn't matter. I'm going to extrude it backwards. And according to our drawing, we want it seven millimeters deep. So I'm going to change that up here. There we go. There we go. Now we've got a little block here, a, a little brick. I'm going to do another 2D drawing on this side. And I'm going to go up now. I'm going to put the, I'm going to make the part, uh, that side there is uh, 20. The middle of it would be 10. It's got the same dimensions. I'm going to build that part where we would put the key uh, ring through. So I'm going to go to up here to my rectangles and I'm going to grab a corner to corner rectangle. Start right at the center there and go right up to the other corner on the other side there. And so if we look it should be the width which is 7 there and the height which is 10 which is half of that. And there's a rectangle. I'm going to say finish this. There's my rectangle. I'm going to extrude that out. It comes out, uh, it should come out 10 according to the drawing we did yesterday. There we go. And now this is starting to look like that keychain. So we still need a little hole to, we can adjust it with this uh, box up in the corner. I still need a hole right here for the keychain and then there's going to be an indent here with the name going across so that we still need to build that. So we're going to set up another two-dimensional drawing and we're going to do it on this front face. So let's select our two-dimensional drawing. There we go. We're going to do it here and let's start off with the circle. We'll do the circle first. So I'm going to grab the circle. I'm going to make a circle over here. Uh, according to our drawing, we want the circle to have a diameter of four millimeters. Okay, so I type that in. But now I want the circle to be centered over here. So I'm going to measure from the center of the circle to this side and I want that right in the middle, so I'm going to set that as 5. As well as this side over here, I want it to be 5 from this side, so that it's right in the center of this part here. And there, now my 4 millimeter circle is right in the center of that area. Which is awesome. I finished my sketch, I'm going to extrude this. Now this time when I extrude, I'm going to go backwards and I'm going to choose cut because I'm going to cut into this uh, piece here. I'm going to click the circle and it's going to come back through this way. I'm going to click check and now if I adjust it, I've got a hole right through. That is where, that's my key ring where I'm going to put the key ring through. Okay. So we're going to do another 2D sketch. I'm doing it on this front plane. Uh, yesterday when we set up, we said we wanted a two millimeter border all the way around uh, where the name is going to go. So I'm going to set up another rectangle. We already know the dimensions. If we do it 36 by 16, we know the side here is 20. That'll leave four which will be two on each side. So I'm just going to pull out a rectangle here. And again, I can type in 
what I want it to be. There we go. The other side set. Okay, so I gotta use my dimension tool to set the other side as 16. There we go. Now I'm gonna finish this sketch. We've got our two uh, millimeter border on either side right here. I'm gonna finish this sketch. Uh, turn it slightly so I can see what's happening. And I'm gonna extrude this inward. We want a little bit of an indent. So again, it's popping out. I'm gonna put it the other way and it's gonna be uncut. And I'm just gonna go two millimeters in. We drew that on another drawing yesterday. Two millimeters in, there we go. We've got our indent, that's looking pretty good. Last thing we gotta do is put our name in the middle there. Now the name is sometimes a little bit, uh, uh, once you get used to it, it's uh, not as hard, but it's a little bit finicky. We go back, we're gonna do a 2D, we're gonna do it on this plane. I'm gonna grab text here, and I'm gonna put it in this area. And I will write my name here, McKenna. And up here we can change the font size. Up here we can change, oops, not up here. Down here we can change the font to whatever we want. I'm just gonna leave it as regular for right now. And hit okay. And, oops, I think I need to highlight it to make it a little bit bigger. Let me just get back in there. Oops, hang on. It's gotta go white in order to select it. Shoot. What's going on? There we go. Now I can select it. I select it. I need to highlight it first and then change the font size. I'm gonna change it to five. There we go. That's a bit better. I want this down here. Awesome. Now I'm gonna check that off. I can look at it. I'm going to tilt it slightly so I can see what it's doing here. Now I'm going to select that text and I'm going to extrude that. We don't want to extrude it out. We want to extrude it in. If we extrude it out, it'll be sticking out and then those pieces will be easy to break off. Oh, I forgot to mention there's this little we can edit, I've been doing it up in this little uh, thing over here, but we can also edit it over here. We want to extrude it in instead of out so that the name doesn't break off. It's looking pretty good. We want to go two millimeters in. We can do it over here or we can do it over in the uh, larger toolbar over here. Click OK. There we go. And there's our basic keychain. Now we can do extra things. I'm gonna let people explore and do some extra things, but even if we just click this edge, we can round these edges off a little bit. I'll just do a quick yes to round that edge off. It's looking good, I'll round this edge off. There we go, let me turn it a little bit. So instead of the harsh edge, it's got a little bit of a curved edge. We could do that to the other sides if we wanted to. But there's our basic keychain. I'm gonna show you in another video how to save it for 3D printing.
uh, on our 3D printers, but that looks pretty good if you ask me. That's a good start right there. Uh, so let's go file. For right now, we're just going to save this. I'll show you in another video how to save it for uh, 3D printing on our 3D printers. Let's just save it as a part file. Uh, I'm on my home computer, so you would save it into your G drive in our tech folder. Maybe I'll do it in this inventor folder. And you can call it keychain or part or uh, probably not part, maybe keychain. I'll just save it as part for now. Anyways, that's it for now. We're going to explore more with this 3D printing.